you rare, as my husband would like to say. Hello everybody, Shelly here. I recently picked up from Morphe the Get Ready With Me. This is the Super Slay kit. Super not expensive. And I think these are like maybe $25 when you get them. I did a video, I'll include the link, on the Simple Slay kit, which I really enjoyed. And that had an eyeshadow palette, a blush palette, I think an eyelid primer, a couple lip products. This one has an eyeshadow palette. Yay. Basic Bold 5B is the eyeshadow palette. And then Double Date Glowing Out is the, looks like a blush highlighter type palette. Then it's got a bright red lip and two eyeshadow brushes in this. And it comes in this like cool pouch. And I can tell you this really cool pouch holds a lot of stuff. Here's the, here's the palettes. Here's the rest of the stuff in the kit. I actually don't mind these Morphe brushes at all. I've actually really enjoyed them. I've bought a bunch of Morphe brushes over the years. Am I too washed out? I can't, I can't tell if I'm a little washed out or not. I thought maybe I was too washed out, but sometimes when I hold my hand up, it changes. And then sometimes it likes to focus on what's behind me. But this is not why you guys are here. You're not here to help me with my technical challenges. I need somebody to go through my settings with me. Show me what I need to do. Okay, so it came with, comes with two brushes, 504 and a 573 Morphe brush. So these are nice little brushes. And I think I have these exact same ones in other kits. I'll use them. And then we got, we have a eyeshadow combo. This is 5B Basic Bold. Take a look at this. And the palette oops, has a little sleeve on it. And the palette looks like that. It does look a little washed out in the camera. I can tell you these are kind of taupey shades. This one is more like a mid-tone uh, taupe matte, and this one looks like it's got a little bit of shimmer in it. Then we've got kind of like a, mm, I'm going to say a little bit darker than bone. If you look at like a nude Crayola crayon, that's kind of the shade of that. And then we've got a black in here, which can go as a liner, kind of smoke things up. And then there's also this double date glowing out face palette same size as the eyeshadow palette but it has two shades in it one of them is a pink one of them is kind of a bronzy goldy type shimmer there you go you can kind of see it it still looks a little washed out but we've got like a pink and then a bronzy gold, gold glowy type shimmer kind of a peach-ish pink maybe palette is the same size super cute. The only way to tell the difference between them is one of them has a 5B on the back of it and the one doesn't have a sticker at all. And then the lip, bold red, kind of a darker red, soft matte. And it appears that the shade name is actually Morphe. There's a sticker on the back that says Morphe. So I guess that's the shade, but it is a bright red. And I'm not normally a bright red type of girl. I'm a lady of a certain age, not a makeup artist, but we're gonna play around with this and we're just gonna kinda see how it goes. I do have the Morphe Fluidity Foundation. This is in shade 2.6 matte. I also put a little bit of a Morphe bronzer, kind of contoury type thing on. This one's debutante. And I put on a Morphe lip liner. This is Sweet Tea, which is like one of my favorites. I actually lined my lips and then I kinda went over it. I know I'm gonna put on the red lipstick anyway, but. I gotta do something. I applied it with a damp beauty blender, in case you're at all curious. And I also put on some Morphe eyelid primer. This stuff doesn't really have any color or anything like that. I loved the Simple Slay kit. The palette, again, was like a five shade palette, just like this. And the colors were more on the pink, kind of mauve, rose colored background. I'm going in with the lightest shade in here, just so you know. And I used that kit when we had took a, like a, a two night trip out of town and I used that cause I'm like, okay, well I can get a couple different looks out of five shades and it was perfect. It was great. And I think for, if you're a minimalist or if you're somebody who likes the smaller palettes and you don't like the big ginormous huge ones that Morphe sometimes does, this is a great way to try out their stuff. This little kit I want to think was like $25. I don't get anything in PR. I'm not affiliated. I'm not endorsed. I don't, you know, nothing like that. I bought it with my own money. And this was not my first choice because my first choice was the Simple Slay. I liked that one so much. I thought, you know what? I'm going to grab this one too. And these neutrals, man, this looks to me a little bit like the Wayne Goss Imperial Topaz these kind of shades. There's a lot of palettes I think out this time of year that's got kind of a similar color story. I mean, they're nudes. They're just basic nudes. So I don't think I'm going to be surprised by any of this. Now, Morphe palettes do have a little bit of kick up. 
And so just be prepared for that. Maybe don't put them on over a white dress or something. Normally with kick up doesn't really bother me too much because I dip back in and pick up the kick up. So I'm not really wasting any product. But I don't know if you can see my palette collection. I don't really need to worry about using all of them up because I have other palettes. So, okay. So I'm just taking the next darkest shade in here. It's kind of a, I almost want to call it like a cool mid-tone kind of taupe sand color. Maybe air is slightly warm, but not like a full on warm shade. And because of my small close set hooded eyes, I'm trying to just kind of deepen up, give myself a little bit of depth there. I did use that lightest shade all over my lid and it kind of just set down the primer, but I think the primer d dries down pretty matte too. I think that primer works well for someone who has a little bit of oily eyelids, my impression. Okay, we're gonna use the darker brown here. So sometimes I like to do videos where I do three looks with one palette. I'm not doing this today because I'm not really focused on the actual versatility of the palette so much as I just want to confirm the quality is kind of what we expect is usable. I really want to kind of just find out, can someone who's not a makeup artist pick up the palette, get it to perform, get, you know, get some use out of it without having to spend a ton of time blending or mixing or just kind of struggling with it. Nobody wants to struggle when you're trying to get out the door. This to me is a palette that is neutral enough, but it gives you like this every day. Did I tell you I'm using the, it's almost like a, it's a warmer brown, almost like a sienna kind of color. Give my eyes a little bit of depth here. Anyway, I think that this palette, if you are a neutral lover, man, this is super easy and it's inexpensive enough. You can keep it in your desk drawer for touch-ups if you need to throughout the day, or maybe you got up late and you know, you're doing your makeup in the office bathroom, assuming you're going to the office, or you need a palette that you can keep in the car. I think I personally would love to take this on like on a work trip, get the job done. Like this is a get the job done kind of palette. And aside from the kick up, I'm not really seeing a ton of like patchiness. The formula is maybe a little dry. No, I'm not really feeling it when like when I swatch it, I don't feel dry, but I think between using that lighter shade to sort of set down my eyelids and the eyelid primer, I feel like I got a little dryness going on. I'm not young. I don't have oily lids. In fact, just the opposite. I have kind of dry skin. I, I saw something recently where somebody says, no, I don't buy Morphe products anymore. I think they're missing out. I'm going to take the shimmer in here on my finger and we're going all over the movable lid because that's what we would do with the shimmer. This is so pretty. It's like the perfect neutral palette for me right now. I love the e.l.f. bite size palettes, the little four shade jobbies. So if you're looking for something that's like a step up or something that's part of a kit, this is great. And I only used one brush. I didn't use any other brushes. I didn't even use the second brush that they gave us in the kit. I'm just gonna kind of buff out that line right here. You know what I am gonna do? I am gonna use that other brush to kind of just sort of soften up, kind of just diffusing any lines. You know, it's neutral makeup. So if you're okay with just neutral eyeshadow and that's your jam and you don't have a ton of money and you're just doing the same look every single day because you're not creative, what's wrong with this? I wanted to know if this was as every bit as enjoyable as the Simple Slay. I think it was, I think it is. Okay, I'm gonna go into the black in here, just on a little angled brush. And just darken up my lash line. Drag a little bit of it down here. I don't wanna go too overboard. If you guys are new to my channel, thank you so much. You might be seeing this Anna, as a review for the Morphe listing. Again, just know that I bought this with my own money. I'm not encouraged by Morphe to do these reviews at all. I just wanna answer questions and hopefully give you guys the information you need. I need to put on some mascara, but I also need to put on some blush. So we're gonna try this blush. It looks awfully light, but we're gonna, we're gonna just try it anyway. Again, put the kick up. Yeah. You know what? I've got soft, I've got pretty, I've got blendable. I don't have 
a huge amount of shimmer that's going to show up a bunch of texture. I like it. I want to put on some mascara. I will do that really fast and I'll, I'll, I'll be right back. All right, you guys. Fast, easy, super convenient. A pouch like this, a couple face products, a couple brushes. Again, I added in a foundation, a bronzer. I probably didn't even need the eyelid primer, but throw it in there anyway. A lip liner. Now, I would probably do something like this for work. Maybe a little tiny hit of gloss. But if I'm going out after work, why not use this red lipstick? So let me grab a mirror really fast. That is a bold lip, my friends. But it is such a nice classic red. Wow. It has enough blue in it that I don't think it makes my teeth look yellow, which is nice. But man, all the focus is on those lips. I think if I were going out and I had the time, the only thing I would maybe do would be to do a little bit more of like a cat eye or even a false lash to kind of go bombshell for date night. I love this. Man, I forgot, I forgot how much joy it was just in like simple makeup with a bold lip. I kind of forget about those things. If you are new to my channel, thank you guys for sticking with me and watching this far in. I am gonna do a giveaway at 250 subscribers. So if you are interested in some free goodies, go ahead and click the subscribe button before you go. If you wanna be notified, I do upload Monday, Wednesday, Friday, 3 p.m. Pacific time, 6 p.m. Eastern. Can you just pick it up and get it to work? Yeah, this is a great starter kit for fun. Let's do this. If we're taking this lip to after work, I'm going to take this black and we're going to smoke out this eye a little bit more. I probably am using the wrong brush here. Hold on. We're going to take this up a notch. Oh yeah. Dark, smoky, just putting a little bit of a black on top of that brown. Wow. We're just going to deepen up that smoky line just a little bit. Yes, I should be using a smaller brush. Don't, don't judge me. I went from work, simple browns, to cocktails after work. Assuming that someday coronavirus will let up and we can actually go have cocktails after work. It's getting better, right? Do you need anything more? Do you have to get super creative with a bunch of color? Or is this a good one? I hope this helps you guys in some way. If you're an existing subscriber, thank you guys so much for coming back around. You guys keep me going. I appreciate you so much. And until my next video, bye for now.